For almost 100 years, the Our Lady of Victory Basilica has been a shining light in the city of Lackawanna. This is the crown jewel of all shrines in western New York, made possible through a vision of Father Nelson Baker. It's a tremendous, humbling gift, and I tell you that, to um, walk in the footsteps of Father Baker, to walk in here every day, and to see what his vision came to fruition. <laughs> this is what he wanted to do, and he wanted to build this crowning gem, and, and he succeeded. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, Monsignor David LaPuma is the pastor of the Basilica. He tells us Father Baker saw a similar shrine in France and prayed he could build one here for the Buffalo Diocese. He wanted people to look up at the dome, which was the second largest in the country at the time, after the capital. He wanted people to see a vision of heaven, that there's more to life than this world, and that there's an eternity of life and love and happiness awaiting us all. He wanted people to have a deep spiritual experience. It took five years to build this masterpiece at three and a half million dollars in the 1920s. And Father Baker had it paid for by donations when he opened the doors. Today, it attracts visitors from around the world. To this day, people come in from all over the world, pilgrims come to visit, and anyone I talk to on any given day are just in awe. And they say, you know, I've traveled in Europe, I've traveled around the world. This rivals cathedrals and basilicas and churches all over the world. It's, it's a gem. It's a place where people really connect with God, connect with our Blessed Mother, and really it's a place where people can come and say, this is, I feel at home here. Just three years after this beautiful basilica opened, the Great Depression hit, crippling our nation. Father Baker set up a bread line, serving more than 450,000 meals over a three-year period. Father Baker left quite the legacy in this town. He established an orphanage for unwed mothers to lead their babies, and the males were known as the Baker Boys, and they were educated. Known as the Padre to the Poor, he took care of the downtrodden, the sick, the homeless, and the poor. He models for us, exemplifies for us, what trusting in God at all times can do. He never took any credit for anything. And anybody who came before him, he never said no. He always find a way to change people's lives for the better. When the Vatican started considering Father Baker for sainthood, it was the Baker boys who removed his casket from the Holy Cross Cemetery and moved it to the Basilica, where he's resting in peace near a grotto that is a replica of Our Lady of Lourdes. Today, OLV Ministries, with all its programs, is the sixth largest provider of human services in Western New York. And it takes a special and gifted priest to oversee the shrine and all of the charitable programs. It's very humbling, um, but like Father Baker, I could never do this if I didn't believe and trust that God will provide and our Blessed Mother. And I pray to Father Baker every day for his intercession to help shepherd this and continue to guide it. But there is a massive amount of people that do so much good work. That's what makes it all possible. At the Basilica, Don Postles with another unforgettable place here in Western New York.